Hi there, Tim Ryan again with Volt. Today I want to show you how to install the Volt hardscape light. There are two types of applications you're going to encounter when installing the hardscape light. The first one is going to be in a typical uh, retaining wall where you have dirt behind it. The second one is going to be into a freestanding retaining wall that's open on both sides. We'll show you how to do both. All right, before we get started on our project, let's take a minute and let's review some of the tools that we're going to need for this project. A couple things right off the bat. Always need a tape measure and a pencil. A sharpie of some kind would be very helpful. Marks a little better on the stone, a little easier to see. Masonry chisel and a masonry hammer, something that you'll be able to pop these stones off with. We'll show you how to do that. And then uh, you're going to want a, a four and a half inch or four inch angle grinder. You're going to want to have a, a diamond tip blade on it, and that's what's going to chew the stone and make a groove for us to place our wire in the stone. We'll show you how to do that now. The first step is to measure and mark out the locations for each light. I use a spacing of every six to seven feet. Next, take your masonry chisel and begin forcing it between the capstone and the stone below. As you advance the chisel, you'll feel the glue between the stones begin to break free. With the capstones removed, set your fixture where it will be placed and mark a line from the central point of the fixture straight back to the dirt. This is where we will score a line in the stone for the wire. With your angle grinder, begin by scoring the line you just marked. Make sure it's deep enough so that the wire lays flat inside. If it's not deep enough, the capstone won't sit flush the stone next to it. Next, push the protective brass tube into position. Set the fixture in position and lay the cord in the slot. Now I'm securing the fixture with the masonry anchors and screws that were provided with the light. Now this is an optional step. You can actually even just glue the light in place and use the weight of the block to hold it down. But go ahead and mark the holes and we'll show you how to do this step. Use a small hammer drill with a masonry bit and in the holes we just marked, drill out about half to three quarters of an inch deep for our masonry anchors. Take your anchor sleeves and place them in the holes might be a little bit tight, so if you need to, take the back end of a screwdriver or a hammer and just lightly press them in. Now for the final time, you can take your fixture and go ahead and set it in the slot. Take your screws and go ahead and stick them in the anchors, and we'll begin screwing those down in place. This will secure your fixture very tightly. Your hardscape fixture is now installed and ready for wiring. Now you can strip your wire leads and make a good solid watertight connection. Squirt a good dab of block adhesive back on the stones and place the capstones back into their original location. This will finish up the installation of the hardscape light. Never hurts to give them a little tap on top too to help set that glue. The next application I'll show you is installing the hardscape light into a freestanding wall with two open sides. We'll begin as before, marking out the fixture location, but this time we're only going to go halfway through the stone to the cable on the inside. This connection is going to be made inside the wall to the cable that is already placed there. First we need to cut the cable where we want to make the splice, and then we need to move it out of the way, otherwise it'll get cut by our grinder. Take your grinder and grind out a slot as we did before, making a groove for the wire but only go halfway through to the center of the stone. Next, we'll take the grinder and we're going to, need to enlarge out that central groove, make it just a bit wider so it'll accommodate the new connection. Let's go ahead and strip the wires and let's make the new connection in the wall. I like to use adhesive line heat shrink tube that I can heat up and shrink over the connection. Makes it nice and watertight. Apply some block adhesive and put your capstone back in place. And here's your finished hardscape light. All right, there you have it, one installed hardscape light. If you have any other questions about the hardscape light or any of the other products in the Volt Lighting line, please give us a call or you can contact us directly through voltlighting.com. Thanks for watching.